Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St Mary Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Southampton up against Leeds United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Alex McCarthy is the goalkeeper. James Ward-Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And a look at the Leeds United starting 11. Well, it's a flat 4-5-1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter-attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. And so the battle commences. It's a perfect challenge. danger here as he runs at them cross towards that far post well I thought that could be menacing but the keeper able to get a strong fist on the ball <laughs> well opting for the short corner Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, smuggled behind for another corner. And over it comes, and clears his lines. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, we know he's an outstanding player, but when he gets free kicks in wide areas, he usually delivers the perfect cross. And when it's on the edge of the box, he always makes the goalkeeper work. Bamford. Could be dangerous. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Good vision. Can he get onto this? He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Favouring the short one. Romeo. 
They've won back possession. Stuart Dallas. Rafinha. Nicely cut out. Plenty of options. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. In the right place to cut out the pass. Using his physical strength to shield it. Gives it a go. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. To the owner of the red hatchback blocking the emergency exit, please return to your vehicle immediately. Thank you. Rafinha. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Can they keep it going? And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. And there's the delivery. Just the clearance that was needed. And you now see... Perrault on the ball. And fired against the crossbar. And there it is. 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, just look at this. He's so bright in the box. He's first to the ball and then a decent finish. It's a good bit of play. Well, back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Dallas Cleach well as you can see Leeds have had the majority of the ball but they've shown a real lack of creativity today they need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here Ward Prowse now potential danger And a fantastic diving save. <laughs> it's a short corner. Romeo. Under pressure to get it away. And he read it superbly. Harrison. And now it's Phillips. Well, beating his opponent. It's still alive. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. An attack full of promise. And so it is, the first half story has been written. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. The two teams have switched around 
and are ready now for the second half. Romeo Armstrong Oriol Romeo offside, close one. Junior Firpo, Cleach, what can they do from here? This looks threatening, and he's got and scored to level us again! Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Elianusi. An effective challenge. Phillips. And the emphasis is on creativity. And he takes on the shot. And keeping it out. And that's going to roll all the way through. Oh, they've lost it. Patrick Bamford. Went in strongly to win the ball. Now we're into the final half hour. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Oh, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Cleach. And now it's Phillips. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Delivering it into the box. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Romeu beautifully weighted ball difficult to stop him opportunity to take the lead the importance of that tackle cannot be overstated and they could face difficulties here surely and the keeper has denied him well I've got to say Derek he was always in control of that situation brilliant stuff Can he do it? Well, a nearly moment just over the top. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. Number 14, Diego Llorente, to be replaced by 
number 21, Pascal Straub. Junior Firpo. Liam Cooper with it. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Losing possession a bit easily. Happy to take on the shot. And the keeper more than equal to it. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Number six, Liam Cooper, to be replaced by number five, Robin Cock. Corner kick played in. Can he put them in front? No way through. Calvin Phillips. Harrison. Can they nudge in front late on here? And still dangerous. It looks promising. Brilliantly blocked. Armstrong. of options Romeo really nice ball no two ways about it a wild wild attempt well it's so hard to get this right and he just couldn't adjust his body quickly enough Substitution for Southampton. and they're making a change Number seven, Shane Long. Dallas. On to Bamford. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. Could be troublesome. Oh, moving it nicely. And there to intervene. And options in the centre. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. A bit of running room now on the wing. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Well, look at this again. It's such a great free kick because it looks as though it's going over the top and then suddenly dips underneath the crossbar. Brilliant technique and so difficult to stop. And the referee blows the whistle. That brings this match to an end. And all is well in the Southampton camp. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends. But they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end.
No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.